So welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how you can be able to send media uh, using the AP WhatsApp API. So if you missed the first video, we sent a regular text. And to, in this one, I'm going to see how we can send some media attached to that as well. So yeah, let's just get straight to it. So uh, depending on the uh, programming language of choice, for me, it's going to be PHP. So they have provided some code samples right here on their homepage. So just go ahead and, and grab that. So this is an empty file that I've created. I'm just going to paste that in like so. Then clean up like that. So for the base URL, let's just get rid of all of this. We are going to enter this ourselves. So like so. So like I said, you will need to create an account on apiwap.com. Once you do so, just go ahead and log in. Then I'm going to my settings. Like, uh, like so. So just head over to your settings. Then you'll have to enter your password in order to generate your API key. Like so. Okay, then I'm just going to grab that. Paste it right there. So for the message type, this is where we have to control the, the documentation. So as you can see from here, in the last video, we looked at message type, which was text. So in this case, we have message type being media. So just go ahead and uh, set that as the, the message type here. Let's head back to the docs. As you can see, this is a caption message and uh, the media URL is also attached as well. So the request body should contain the following parameters, phone number, media URL. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So if you look at this code sample, aha. Uh -huh. You have the message, but you don't have the messenger URL. So that's going to add that right here. Let's see. This is this is a media URL. So let me just add that. Then make sure it's also in the payload. The message URL is going to be that variable. So the media URL is going to be this media URL. So to define this, uh, we have this particular sample media. So this is, uh, of course, a sample PDF file, as you can see, it just says text, text, more boring text, and more text, and more text. You get the gist. So this is the what we're going to use as the, the media URL, like so. So I don't know why this. Oh, okay, okay. So we did not add this here in the function so that's why it's not picking up on that so let's just add that media URL. like so that should fix it so for the phone number let me use mine And for the message, let me say this is uh, the PDF 
URL. Let's just head back to the docs one more time. So you can find this uh, over at overview. So this is the base URL right here. So boom. Uh, okay. So that's it for. Let me just get to the whole this case. And yeah, let's go ahead and open this up on our browser and see if we have a Eureka moment or if we. Don't have any message at all. So error response 401 none. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the message itself. So I'm also gonna need this to give me the response as well. So no active subscription plan, that is the issue. Okay, so let's just head back to my account, the dashboard, and uh, create plan, I guess. So we have fixed the issue with the subscription plan, and as you can see on refresh, I get the message uh, right here. So maybe let me let me let me show you. There is right here. Hope you can see that. This is the PDF you ordered from devbooks.com. Uh, so let's go a little bit further and add some UI to this. <laughs> 